What is going on guys, it's Wava here and welcome back to some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 1. Now, last time we left off, we did a few things. We rigged up some sheep, even got uh, some more cows and pigs and, uh, well, we didn't get any pigs. What am I talking about? Jeez. <laughs> Cut that out of the video. We got more cows and chickens, and of course more sheep from breeding them and all that kind of stuff, as well as we went on a mining trip. Well, I went on a mining trip. I cut like 99% of the heckin' footage out until I had finally found diamonds. And we finally found three diamonds, which is enough to make a diamond pick. So I think we might as well make that thing real quick. And that was, that was an unintentional rhyme right there. Holy heck. <laughs> Anyways. I guess we'll make that diamond pick real quick. We can make a obsidian generator, make a nether portal, all that kind of stuff, and see if we can go on a quick little nether adventure. See if we can find a blaze, kill the blaze, get a blaze rod, make a heckin' uh, brewing stand, and maybe make a potion of weakness to maybe cure a zombie. Uh, a zombie villager, that is. So anyways, I need wood. I, I moved all my wood over to these chests over here because they already had a bunch of wood at already, so I just put them there. Uh, I did read you guys' comments saying, hey, you know what? There are a lot of pumpkins at your village. You might as well harvest the pumpkins. I, I don't know why I haven't been doing this. Oh man, what happened to the actual like pumpkin like like stems or whatever? The actual plants. I guess they're gone. I guess they got trampled on or something. Well, these ones are still here. Well, that's good. Uh, I might. I, I, I have said a few episodes ago that I might want to like demolish these farms here and like build a better, more aesthetically pleasing and more efficient looking farm. I may do that, especially now like the pumpkins over there are basically heck and gone. I need to replant them anyways. And uh, the, the farmer villagers dead or zombified or both <laughs> undead. So we we might as well uh, try and get some pumpkins, pumpkin seeds and all that kind of stuff as well as to turn the pumpkins into pumpkin uh, pumpkin pie. And I don't really remember the recipe for that. I I do know you need pumpkins. <laughs> so I, I'm glad I had pumpkins right there. Uh, I think I had some pumpkins up here. I might have already grabbed them. But we have pumpkin seeds. We can replant the pumpkins over at that farm whenever we need to. So I, I'll definitely keep that in mind. But I feel like if I have the pumpkins over here, is it going to show me the actual recipe for the pumpkin pie? I guess not. Okay. Uh, if I had to guess, I don't think you need a bowl. Maybe you're going to need sugar and something else. I don't know. I'm going to get sugar cane. I don't know if we ever... Did we ever make sugar? Maybe it's not showing me the recipe because I never made sugar. So pumpkin pie would be pumpkins, sugar. I don't think we're going to need wheat. I do not know, you guys. Anyways, oh yeah, speaking of wheat and seeds and all that kind of stuff, I guess we can go breed our chickens again real quick, as well as cows and sheep, just because it's been a little while. Uh, we have been on a huge mining adventure off camera, so... Uh, there we go, put up the pumpkin seeds there as well. We still have the lava on our inventory as well as a water bucket. We're going to be using that. That's nowhere near enough. Why did I grab, like, no seeds? <laughs> but uh, we're going to be making that obsidian generator here pretty soon with that lava and water. Man, look at all those eggs over here, too. Jeez, look at all this. Let me pick up all the eggs. Oh, my God! This is like Egg City over here, you guys. There's so many egg and eggs! Man, look at all these chickens. I'm like the king of all the chickens. Holy heck, look at this. Hopefully I'm getting all of them right here. Do we have a lonely chicken back here? No, here we are. Oh, they are a... Uh, Breed it, if you will, so that's good. And I think we might have covered everyone right here, right? Yeah, there you go. All right, well, let's go get some wheat. Or, well, let's use the wheat on the cows. Looks like they're already getting pretty excited over here, which is great. Whoops, that's not it. And looks like the cows are starting to breed, which is awesome. Hopefully I have enough uh, wheat here for all these guys, because we have a... We're actually getting quite a lot of cows nowadays, you guys. That's pretty awesome. I can't even really see them. I need to, like, do a third-person mode just to see a little bit better. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I think we've covered everyone over here, though. We only have five wheat left over. You're gonna need to grab some more if we want to go breed the sheep, though. But, here we go. Let's get out. Oh, gosh. I'm still holding the wheat. They're so excited. Jeez. <laughs> let's go grab a little bit more wheat. I do know we have some wheat uh, plants over here that need to be... Uh, harvested finally because the heckin farmer guy's dead so might as well do his job for him right and then maybe uh maybe either off camera or like in a different episode or so oh gosh almost just crap well i guess i could trample those crops and uh, nothing will really matter because I'll, I'll break them here in just a bit anyways just because i'm going to be making new uh like plots and stuff here in just a bit but for right now let's just break these plant down the wheat in their place and then of course let's go breed the sheep hopefully we have enough uh wheat and if not there you go, there's a whole full stack right there. <laughs> so let's go see if we can breed all the sheep, because we have a lot of sheep over here. I'm like, we start out with six, start breeding them. Uh, let's go to third person mode so we can see a little bit better. And of course, they just start multiplying after you start breeding them and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know how many more rounds of breeding we're going to do before we start, you know, slaughtering these guys for their, uh, for the. Oh gosh, weird single player lag right there. That was weird. And look at all the lambs! Man! We're getting tons of hacking critters. Look at look at all the look at all the chickens over there. Look at all the cows over there. And yet no pigs! I still need to find some pigs, you guys. Maybe it's gonna be like episode a thousand and I'll have, I'll have pigs finally. Jeez. Or maybe I'll die before then. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, I did get a comment. 
about the the, the, the lantern situation, the lantern conundra, if you will. Uh, conundrum? I don't even know if conundrum is a word. <laughs> anyway, saying to put just put the lantern like right there, and it fits like perfectly. So I think that actually fits pretty well there, you guys. And I can walk through there, no problem, and still have access to the uh, to these. So I can just easily jump over these, no problem. I do need to remember to actually use them. Like I'm so used to using these uh, little fence gates and stuff like that. But uh, I suppose that'd be a great little thing we could do for all like all four sides of each little ranch pen enclosure thing. <laughs> Uh, anyways, for right now, though, I'll probably put up this other lantern over here. I'll, I guess I'll just place this right here, maybe? Just goes... Here. Oh, gosh! Whoops, cut that out of the video. I don't want to get heckin' demonetized. Get PETA tweeting about me, jeez. Anyways, oh, gosh, I messed that up. And there we go. And let's... No, it needs to be... God, man, I forgot. It needs to be one taller, so... I guess to do that, we can just kind of <laughs> get on top of the carpet. And there we go. Break that. Put the lantern there. And it's pretty simple there, you guys. Not bad. All right, I like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, though. Uh, I'll probably get rid of this here, though. At least for right now. I'll put the torch there because I, I want something there anyways. And then we'll figure something out for the uh, for, like the corners and stuff. Maybe I'll just do the regular street lights or something like that that I've been doing in the past. Either way, I guess... Oh, yeah, let's see if we can make the pumpkin pie with just... I don't know. I don't, oh, God, I don't know if you had to like, surround it by sugar or anything like that, you know? But if I go here... Oh, wait, we have pumpkin... Wait, what? How long has this been a rep? Oh wait, you need, uh, eggs too! Uh, I don't know when it unlocked the pumpkin pie recipe, you guys, but yeah, you do need sugar and you also needed eggs! Well, that just reminded me, yeah, I, <laughs> I need to go throw all the eggs down too, you guys. Oh, oh, and even more eggs over here, jeez! I could probably go AFK over here and pick up a billion heckin' eggs! Or if I had, like, a trillion iron, I could fill, like, the whole ground of this with nothing but hoppers, and I'll be good to go, you guys. Jeez, I'll just pick up non-stop amounts of heckin' eggs. And looks like we got three little chicks from that! That's pretty good! Not bad! Alright, what well, is nighttime right now? In the morning time, we'll make the obsidian generator and actually start making some obsidian. Oh gosh, I see a creeper over there. We better head to bed. Hopefully he's far enough away that we can actually- Okay, we can't go to bed. Okay, that's good. Whew. But we have a pumpkin pie right there, so... We... Oh man, I probably should have kept those eggs. But I'd say right now, getting getting the chicks is more important than getting the egg, or uh, than getting more pumpkin pie. I'm like, pumpkin pie, like, look at that. That like, actually fills up quite a lot of your heckin' uh, food right there. Oh yeah, that does remember, or uh, remind me. I do need to go harvest the sugar cane over there. It's been quite a while. And I guess we can grab some more eggs right here real quick. I thought I just saw one. It might have just been... A oh, 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 I heard... Oh, there we go. I picked up an egg right there. Oh, yeah, I must have picked one up. Yeah, we're up to two now. All right, well, we can make a few more pumpkin pies, because look at this. We have so many heckin' pumpkins everywhere, you guys. We might as well start using them, right? Jeez. <laughs> and there we go. We have another uh, plot over here. Another, uh, like, farm area that I can actually update, kind of modernize. Here in the future, whenever I have some time to actually start building, like, brand new farm plots and stuff like that. But for right now, I'm just going to grab all the pumpkins, because they're just absolutely everywhere. Jeez. And, of course, we need to go over here, grab the uh, sugar cane, because I don't think I ever harvested these guys. Holy heck. So I think these are the original sugar cane, like, extra leftover sugar cane that we had, you guys. Man. So I, I don't know if I'll... I guess I'll place down a couple more. Just so we start getting a little bit more sugar cane. And uh, I'll probably just go to like there and we'll be good to go. Yeah, because it, it, it can still grow under that tree, but I think right there is a pretty good amount. And we have 10 left over in our inventory that we can turn into sugar and therefore more pumpkin pie. So let's get ourselves some, there you go, sugar and some more pumpkin pie. And we have, wait, just one? What am I missing? Why am I not able to get... Oh, I guess because it... Oh, okay, so it's... It, uh, I'm so used to the mods. I'm so used to Ark Survival Evolved where you have, like, the crafting, like, materials for multiple... I heard an egg drop, by the way. Uh, where you have to craft the materials for, like, multiple crafts and stuff. Oh, gosh! One, one egg and chicken escaped. Uh-oh. What I need to lure you... Oh, gosh! Another one. Oh, you guys better get back in. There we go. Woo! All right. Let's grab some more eggs. Let's get some more pumpkin pie, you guys. Man! Look at this. All right, the five eggs! I, I, we just breeded these guys. We just threw down like 13, 14 eggs or whatever. Just got even more egg and eggs. Jeez, this is awesome. There we go, get some more pumpkins. I don't know if it matters like what order I put that in, but there we go. We're up to six pumpkin pie right there. So that's going to be another great sustainable food source here at the ranch. So we're going to have wheat uh, for bread. We're going to have a... Uh, uh, potatoes. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. Oh, yeah, I need to harvest these over here as well. We have potatoes, carrots. We have a beet. I don't know if you can eat beets. I assume you can. But uh, I don't know if there's like a special like thing you can do with it, like cooking it in the furnace or whatever. Or if you just use it for just straight eating raw or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, let's grab the beetroots. Lay those down here in the pot. And of course, put the extras up. 
inside the compost bin there in the middle, so just throw them all up inside there. Anyways, let me continue harvesting the farm over here, and then we'll uh, make ourselves an obsidian generator, see if that still like, and works. I'd be surprised if it still weren't, but at the same time, I wouldn't be too surprised, because that heckin' method of making an obsidian generator has worked for literal years, and they don't really seem to fix, like, weird glitches and stuff like that, like, ever, so <laughs> probably still works, no problem. But let me just harvest all the rest of the stuff here real quick. Oh gosh! Oh gosh, there's a- How does skeleton spawn over there? What? Well, I do have this crossbow that we, uh, improved. I think it has, like, I don't know what the enchantments are. We'll check here in just a bit. But, like, piercing or something like that, right? Oh gosh, okay, that- that explains it. There we go. There's no light on that wall over there, so it's pretty and dark, but... I could just melee this guy, but I- I kinda wanted to use the crossbow, honestly. Yeah, piercing and unbreaking one, so that's pr that's pretty good, honestly. Not too bad. And of course, we could throw all the, uh, all the extra potatoes up inside of a furnace, or the, uh, smoker, or whatever. Or a campfire. Get ourselves a- I don't know if you can put them in the smoker. I think you can only put, like, meats or something like that in there. I guess we can go myth that real quick. Cause I- I don't think I ever cooked, uh... I'm like, I use it for salmon there, but, uh, let's put all those up in there. Let's grab some, like, coal from over here. And let's make that diamond pick here in just a moment. Uh, if we have enough- Nope, I don't have any heckin' wood in my- aim. Okay, yeah, you can- you can- you can use the smoker for baked potatoes, so that's good. So it's not just for, like, meat products, so that's awesome. Anyways, more random potato- or <laughs> giant potatoes if these are potatoes, golly. <laughs> more pumpkins here, so let's just harvest those real quick, just cause hey, why not? Let's grab some wood from over here, and I have the three diamonds in my inventory from, like, the beginning of the episode, so we we'll won't have to worry about that. Let's make ourselves some sticks. There we go. And place the three diamonds like so. And we already have the lava in our inventory. We already have the water in our inventory. I guess we'll just grab some cobblestone. And we don't really... We, we could make a piston real quick. I suppose we can, just to kind of make things a little bit fancy. But uh, let's, let's go make one real quick. I, let's see if I even remember the recipe. I think you need one redstone, five cobble, three wood. So let's try that. Let, let me see if I remember the recipe. I think it's like wood at the top and like a redstone in the middle. Uh, no, that's not it. Hold on, how, how do you, uh... I guess I have to look it up, you guys, this is embarrassing. Oh yeah! You do, you need an iron, I forgot about that, golly! <laughs> Man, oh gosh, whoops, that was an accident. Now I need to break that and place down a regular one there, jeez. But yeah, you need an iron, but I, I had, I had a lot of it there, correct, you guys? Like, look at this, I could probably build it, like, from somewhat memory now. <laughs> and it was a cobblestone on the sides, not like in a 5U shape right there, and then wood- Yeah, there you go, see, I, I was missing the iron right there, but whatever. Anyways, we have the piston. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to build this thing. I guess I could build it in this little tunnel or cave inlet thing over here, I suppose. I don't know if I'll do that. I, I, think, I'll, I'll, I think I'll build it out in the open. Oh man, I need to eat. Let me get some delicious nutri- I don't know about nutritious. This thing is sugary as butt. <laughs> I'm not going to get too many nutrients from it, I'm sure. But delicious pumpkin pie. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know if we'll be able to fit anything over here for, like, like animal pen-wise. Maybe we put llamas over here. But I suppose, temporarily, we could use this as the obsidian generator area. So, let's just, uh, I guess... Anyways, uh, there's the diamond pick right there. Let's get that out and get that ready. And let's go place down the, uh, the redstone over here and see if we get ourselves any obsidian from this. Because I am... Oh my gosh, that broke. Okay, well, I guess I'll put this here then. Oh, that gave me, uh, that gave me cobblestone. Did they fix it? Oh, I think they might have fixed it, you guys! Oh, no! Can I not get into- Oh, man, well, I guess we have a cobblestone generator now. <laughs> well, this is kind of a, a little bit of an overcomplicated cobblestone generator now. I guess it doesn't work with- As an obsidian generator anymore. I guess they got rid of it, you guys. Well, that kind of sucks. Either that or I'm doing something wrong. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong here. Just by my memory of making, like, a billion of these in the past. Uh, maybe if you made the same thing in, like, a, an older version of Minecraft, maybe it maybe it'd still work. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you guys have to myth bust it. Because right now, it, it doesn't seem to be working in this current version of Minecraft, unfortunately. So that sucks. Yeah, you're supposed to have, like, running water behind it and then redstone there. And then lava pouring on top of it, and that makes obsidian for sh some strange reason. Yeah, now it's making cobblestone. Man, they fixed it. They patched it. Ah, uh, well, that's not too big of a deal. We, we can go, we can go mining under underground and get some obsidian pretty easily that way. But uh, it, it, it's just going to be a trip over there, you know. So I guess you know what? You know what? Let's take our donkey over there. Let's go take our donkey on a little obsidian gathering trip. And I believe, like, what do we need? Just a minimum of ten or something like that obsidian to make a uh, another portal. Of course, we can get fourteen and get a. We can we can get a heckin' any size nether portal nowadays. I think, right? 
I don't know if I don't know if there's I don't know if you have to do the minimum of a two by three and that's like a minimum, or if you can make them any smaller and that as like a, a two by two sort of meme. I don't know. I kind of want to check though because I haven't I haven't played for a billion years, haven't gone to the Nether in a trillion years, right? Anyways, there you go. Nom on some more. Oh, don't want to wastefully eat more extra extra pumpkin pie that I don't need to eat. Oh, look at that, the iron's down over there. How about that? Oh, look at that, the baked potatoes are done as well, so that's great! So now we have another food source there, you guys. Awesome. I need to get a water bucket, so I guess I guess I'll tear this thing down. Either that or I'm doing something wrong. But I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm pretty sure this works just fine, and they must have patched the obsidian generator beam, so I probably- oh gosh, what in the world happened there? Weird single player lag. Uh, either that or- that seems completely intentional, you guys. What in the world is going on there? <laughs> okay, but uh, we might as well get the, uh, the lava back there. Just I'm like, we could use it as like, what, a heckin' thousand uses or something like that in the furnace or some crazy thing? So I suppose we can keep this, just kind of use it for whatever, and put that up over there and keep this water bucket in our inventory, just because I'm like, we are going to heckin'. I'm almost said the nether, not going to nether just yet. We're going to go uh, underground to grab more, uh, why do I have sticks in there? It's kind of weird, but I do need sticks to make more torches, so. There you go. Let's get ourselves a bunch of torches because we're going to go pretty deep underground. I don't know if we're going to... I'm like, I, I, I do know a couple spots we can go for obsidian, but for right now, I think I'm going to pause the recording, head on over to the... Uh, I don't think I'm going to... Yeah, if I'm getting exclusively obsidian, I don't think I'm going to need share of storage. I guess I'll just take Brownie. So let's grab a... Uh, there we go. Grab his lead back and let's go take Brownie. And I do have a random fence in my inventory. I was about to put that up, but then I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be riding on my horse... Oh gosh, I hit the wrong button there. Jeez. Uh, if I'm going to be riding on my horse, I might as well tie him up here at the uh, entrance of the cave so he doesn't go, like, anywhere, you know? <laughs> Especially because I do have a lead in my inventory as well, so might as well go tie him up. So, anyways, a good thing the cave is, like, right here, honestly. And we did find a lot of obsidian last episode, or at least I did, because it was, like, mainly off camera, right? So, it shouldn't be too- oh gosh, what in the world happened right there? He just went and teleported and came back. <laughs> but, uh, let's just place down the fence, tie him up. Come here, Brownie. And there you go. Nice. Got out there person mode, though. And there we go. All right. I guess we're ready to go down into the mines, you guys. We back in the mines. I don't know if I'm going to pause, because I, I said I was going to pause, but I'm, like, literally here already, so I don't think I need to pause this yet. And I did cut out, like, 99% of the actual... I did cut out, like, all the actual footage from that last episode. Like, I literally just cut to me finding diamonds, so... Might as well, uh, if you guys are like, yeah, I like mining, I don't want you to cut out that footage, hater, then I'll, I'll definitely leave in the footage, but I believe... It was this way that we went last time, yeah. And there was a lot of, like, lava lakes. Yeah, look at that. Literally just came across obsidian, like, immediately, so... I don't need to worry about it. Uh, I guess if I'm going to be cutting out any... Alright, let's do this. There you go. If I'm going to be cutting out any footage, it'll probably just be me breaking through the obsidian, like, taking a trillion heckin' years to do it. So... Oh, yeah! I want to make an enchantment. Oh, thankfully there's no, uh... Ice bucket challenge, what in the world? Okay. <laughs> but if I want... I, I want to make an enchantment table, so I think, was that? Four obsidian. So I think I'm going to need actually 14 straight up obsidian. 10 for the obsidian, or uh, 10 for the nether portal. I'll almost call it an obsidian generator, but I guess those don't exist anymore. Either that, or maybe there, there are different ways to make an obsidian generator nowadays in the modern era. I probably have to like look up videos on YouTube or something, jeez. Oh gosh, look at that, we got some obsidian, or uh, some lava underneath right there. See, that's, that's why I'm being careful. Trying not to, uh, not, not like digging underneath me, I'm digging to the side of me, getting the obsidian. That way I'm a little bit more safe. If we do, oh yeah, see like right there. If we do come across lava underneath, then we're not going to have a risk of like accidentally falling in it or anything like that. Especially whenever I shift like this, so. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just, I'll probably just speed up this footage, honestly. It's, it's going to be me literally breaking obsidian for who knows how long, so. There you go, going to get more obsidian out of those, so that'll be great. So, I guess I'll just speed up this footage. I'll uh, probably make the background jazzy music a little bit louder so you guys can enjoy it a little bit more. <laughs> and I'll see you guys here in a bit once we have about 14 or so obsidian. Alright guys, I am back. We're at 14 right now, but I thought I'd get this last one, go up to a nice round 15. And, uh, there we go. And, uh, maybe I'll come back here in the future off-camera, grab a little bit more obsidian, that way we have more for whatever other random trash I'm going to want to make here in the future. But thankfully, that obsidian pool, or lava lake pool, obsidian source, <laughs> was pretty close to the, uh, to the staircase here, so I didn't have to go really far to get it. But, for right now, I'm just gonna head home, and I was thinking about it when I, when I was bringing the obsidian there, you guys. We might have to kill some cows. Because we need to make a book. 
to make the enchantment table. If we want to make the enchantment table, like, you know, more powerful or whatever, I might as well grab this, uh, what's this called again? What's this thing? Blast for it. I might as well grab that thing back. Just, I'm like, I could use it back home, you know? Uh, nothing in there worthwhile. Yeah, don't think we need anything there. That's empty. I think this is, uh, well, this is basically empty. There's nothing in there really worthwhile either. But I think we're going to need to slaughter some of the cows back home, you guys. So we're going to need to breed them. That way their, their population is up substantially. We're going to need to slaughter maybe like three or four of them. Just because we need leather to make the books. And, uh, at least, at least, oh gosh, here we go. At least one book to make the enchantment table. And then, of course, we can kind of kind of buff the book, if you will. Let me grab that fence back, just because why not? I think we hit that. Oh, I think I'm hitting it. Am I hitting it? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but at least one to craft the uh, enchantment table. Of course, we're going to need even more here in the future. Oh, gosh, hopefully he doesn't hit me. Oh, look at that idiot. He can missed. <laughs> but uh, we can get more to make lo those, like, little little book block things. Of course, to enchant... In Enhance the enchantment table <laughs> here in the future. But for right now, I, I kind of want to just get just a baseline enchantment table just so we could do like a, a pretty basic enchantment to. Oh, yeah, and then I said I wanted to enchant books. So, yeah, we're the only way we can get leather is to kill cows. At least for right now, I don't know if there's any. Well, I guess we can get, we can get leather from horses too, I think, right? If we kill horses. But I don't want to kill horses. They're even more valuable than cows. And that's not me saying cows are trash or anything like that. Golly. I love my cows. Isn't that right, cows? Bro. Yeah, see, they, they agree with me. I'm not going crazy. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to bed real quick. <laughs> Man, this episode is getting kind of near the 30 minute mark, but uh, this is unedited footage, so it's probably near like 25 minutes or something like that, at editing all that trash out. But for right now, let's go breed the cows. Let's go, let's go make sure that we have a, a nice healthy cow population before we can slaughter them or anything like that. And start making an enchantment table and doing all that crazy shen crazy shenaniganry. I was also thinking when I was breaking the- uh, Oh gosh, look at all those eggs. Whoa! Oh my god, why am I going through the fence gate? I have literal carpet things right there. <laughs> but I was thinking while I was mining the obsidian, it was like me just pondering about the life and the universe and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but, uh... That little, little cave over there is a perfect place to put the nether board, you know? It's kind of out of the way, it's going to be loud as butt, so putting it in that cave is going to be nice and far away from everything else we're doing, we're not going to be all bothered by the weird, like, sounds of heck going on, if you will, <laughs> that the nether portal kind of generates. I'm doing it again! Let me, let me get used to that! Hey, there we go! I don't have any over here, though, so that kind of sucks, so I gotta, gotta use the old-fashioned way to get into here, golly! Let's go to third person, we see a little bit better. Yep, looks like we can breed all the cows again, so that's good, or at least... As many as like, oh my gosh, yeah, look at that, I'm getting pretty good levels as well, so make an enchantment table to kind of take use of all the levels that we're gaining from mining, from breeding and all that, like farming, I think you get XP from that as well, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> and killing critters and stuff like that too. We need to have a way of actually getting rid of all the XP and stuff, you know, like uh, the only way we've been able to use it lately is just naming stuff, name tags, all that kind of stuff, but now we're finally going to have a way actually like use the experience points as well as enhance some of our equipment in the form of like the pickaxe or maybe get better uh, enchantments with the armor and all that kind of stuff <sighs> but for right now our cow population is doing pretty well like look at all the cows we have a pretty good cow population here you guys i i would go outside see if we could find more random stray cows kill them first but yeah i think we're gonna have to kill the cows way up here first you guys so Hopefully Beefy forgives me here, but you've got to do what you've got to do, right? Oh gosh! Whoops! Oh god! This video's getting flagged. I accidentally just oopsie doopsie. At least it didn't die right there. Oh my gosh, one of them's down. Okay, it gave me a leather so it didn't die in vain. That one gave me a leather as well. I think we go- Oh god! Oh, it's because of the, uh, it's because of the, the, the splash of the sword. Yeah, let's use, you know, let's use an axe. Oh my gosh, I accidentally just- well, that one didn't drop any, so that one died in vain. Rest in peace. Can I get an F? Can I get just a big spam of Fs in the chat to pay respects to the fallen cows? Uh, well, now we have three heckin' leather to make a book. Watch, I'm going, I'm going to go back to my chest, and I, I have like ten leather there or something crazy. <laughs> I hope not, man. But I'm like, that's what the ranch is for. Oh, we have one. Okay, well, one of them died in vain there, I guess. Right? Well, like, multiple did, because they didn't all drop leather, but we had a leather back here. Hopefully you only need, hopefully you need three leather to make a, a heckin' book. Rather than, uh, what in the world, do we only have just one? I guess we just had one paper there. But, uh, let's grab three. I keep on saying, th I, I said three and I keep on getting four. <laughs> well, let's get to, uh, I did it wrong again. And you do, uh, the paper vertically to get the book, right? Alongside the leather, let's see. No! How do you make, how in the world do you make books? Oh, it's just one! It is just one! 
I could have made a book this whole time. Uh, whoops. Let's, I might as well just heck and take use all this extra leather, you guys. Oh my gosh. I can make a bookcase, I think, right? No, maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm going to have to think about the recipe, but I think it's three books and then wood on top, wood on top, or planks on top, planks on the bottom, if I remember correctly. But let's see. Let's turn these all into more egg and paper. There we go. And I'm going to need to get more sugar cane here in just a bit. But for right now, we can get two books. So let's do that. Then, how would you do? Oh, you need you need diamonds as well for the. Oh man, I think I think you need diamonds for the enchantment table. So I think it's like this, and then diamond, diamond, right? Diamond, diamond. Man! Yeah, I forgot about the diamonds you need for the enchant- Okay. Well, at least we're one step closer in that regard, huh? But we can still make the nether portal, so let's go do that. Let's put up a... One, two, three, four obsidian there. For the upcoming enchantment table. Probably going to be doing that, like... Ne either next episode or episode after next. Kind of thinking about going on another off-camera mining adventure. Hopefully find more diamonds. <laughs> you know? But for right now, let's make the, uh... Let's get a flint and steel as well, so we can actually light the thing. Jeez. <laughs> Let's go make a, uh, another portal here in just a moment, and then maybe next episode we'll start out our, uh, adventure in the nether, and hopefully we won't die. That's probably going to be the episode where we're dying. Ep dying on episode, was it 20? What episode would next episode be? I think that'd be 20, looking at my computer there, and my little, uh, recordings and stuff. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's grab an iron, let's grab a flint, that way we can light it up. Uh, boom, there you go. And, uh, I can just grab that in my inventory real quick. Unless they change it. Okay, never mind. There you go. <laughs> uh, I'm like, they've been changing recipes left and right, so I wouldn't be too surprised if, uh, if they changed the recipe for heckin' flint and steel. Jeez. Oh, yeah, we have a bunch of eggs. Let's go throw those down. Or I guess we can make another pumpkin pie. Oh, we don't have too much sugar, so let's, let's just up our uh, chicken population. We're going to get. There's already a trillion eggs there, anyways. Man, I might as well grab them all. Throw them down on the ground. It's like the heckin' chicken lottery here, you guys. Are we going to get a heckin' chick? Or are we going to get nothing? I don't know. <laughs> let's throw down the eggs. Oh, oh, we got one! And that's it from like however many eggs that was, jeez! And I heard another egg. We only got one chick from like 20 something eggs! One chick! You kidding me? Oh my gosh! Oh, this is terrible. This is like the exact opposite of the other day where we had like three eggs and boom, boom, boom. Chick, chick, chick. Instantly. Man, that sucks. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over here. Let's go, let's go make the nether portal. I kind of want Mythbus real quick though. If you could make the nether portal, I guess we could build it like right here. This is kind of a cool little spot to put it. I want to see if we could actually make it as like a two by two sort of main. Uh, so that would be like that. Yeah. I want to I wanna see if we could do it like that. That'd be kind of cool if we can. And we could of course save obsidian, but it'll also be a little bit shorter too. So let's check real quick if you can actually do that like this. I don't know if you can. I, I, I know you can make them like pretty much any size, but I want to see if. Yeah. Okay. So that is. That is a, a minimum that we need to make it a, a two by three sort of meme. So that, that, that kind of sucks, but at the same time, kind of makes sense. But I suppose maybe here in the future, when I have like a trillion obsidian, I can make this, I can make this, uh, I keep calling it obsidian generator, or almost calling it obsidian, obsidian generator. But we can make this nether portal like heckin' 15 by 15 or something crazy. Either that or they heckin' patch that too, I don't know. That was pretty fun that you are able to do that in the past. But there you go, we got the nether portal, you guys. Are we going to die in the nether? Let me know in the comments down below because we're going to be going to the nether next episode. But for right now, I think I'm going to end the episode right here, you guys. And then next episode, we're going to go to the heckin' nether. See if we die instantly and it's going to be a five minute episode. <laughs> but anyways, until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, I'll probably end up dismantling that over there. Because I, I don't even need a, uh, a cobblestone generator. So if that, was, if, if that was a working obsidian generator, I'd keep that there. But since it seems like it doesn't work, I might as well just get rid of it, right? Golly, oh, that sucks. But, yeah, like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out. So you do not miss an episode. I need to put more carpets over here. I keep forgetting about it. <laughs> Let's continue breeding all of our critters over here, as well as especially the cows. Because we did have to slaughter some just moments ago. And uh, we did just breed them as well, so I assume their cooldown is still in effect. So we may not be able to breed them just yet. But yeah, I think this should cover all the chickens. Oh yeah, can you give a baby chick seeds and it like grows faster or something? What is this little sparkle that's coming out of it? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Let me know in the comments down below what that is, because I'm genuinely curious about that. I don't think I've seen that before. It might be somewhat new. Anyway, let's see if we can breed the cows. 
Oh, we can. Okay, looks like the cooldown has subsided, so that's good. So we can hopefully get the cow population back up, back to where it was, and even more. And then some, hopefully, right? So let's continue going around. Make sure every cow has hearts coming out of it. Don't want to have uh, any lonely cows out here. And I think we should have everyone covered by now, so that's good. As well as, let's not forget about our sheep brethren over here as well. Because these guys have been breeding like heckin' bunnies crazily. <laughs> like, we're getting so many heckin' sheep, it's kinda great. I'm like, we got a bunch of cows. I've been kinda prioritizing breeding the cows and stuff. But we do want more sheep, just cause, hey, I'm like, they do drop lamb chops and stuff. And that's a pretty good food source as well. And they, of course, do give us a bunch of wool. But I don't need a billion wool. <laughs> Maybe I'll make my house out of wool or something. Just because we have so much wool abundance nowadays, right? Or we can, because we have so many heckin' sheep. But there we go. That should be it for now. So, <laughs> already did the outro. So, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 1, where we're going to finally go to the heckin' nether. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys think I'm going to die next episode, because there's a high likelihood that I will, but I do have a pretty good diamond chest piece. So, I've got that going for me, right? <laughs> but I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.